When you think of grit or someone who is a risk taker, who springs to mind? Probably not the president, but two-term Commander-in-Chief Teddy Roosevelt was different. In fact, he may be one of the toughest presidents on record, but it wasn't always that way. Born into a wealthy New York family in 1858, homeschooled Theodore Roosevelt suffered from severe asthma and was not physically healthy. Following a strict fitness routine as a teenager, he grew up to become a strong, athletic young man. At Harvard University, where he studied natural history, Roosevelt took up boxing and wrestling in his spare time. After graduating, he married socialite Alice Hathaway in 1880. But just four years later, tragedy struck when his young wife and his mother died on the same day. Fraught with grief, Roosevelt retreated to a ranch in the Badlands of North Dakota, where he worked as a frontier rancher. When three armed thieves attempted to steal his boat in 1886, Roosevelt tracked them down along a frozen river and kept them captive for eight days while the ice melted, before personally handing them over to the police. By 1897, Roosevelt was back in New York and made a move into politics. But when the United States declared war on Spain in 1898, he became leader of the Rough Riders, the first U.S. volunteer cavalry who contributed to American victory at the Battle of San Juan Hill. Roosevelt's bravery helped propel him to the governorship of New York and then vice president. And when President William McKinley was assassinated in September 1901, Roosevelt became commander-in-chief at 42 years old, transforming the public image of the presidency forever. In 1912, while campaigning for an unprecedented third term as president in Milwaukee, he was shot in the chest by saloon keeper John Flamang Schrank, but managed to complete the speech with the bullet still in his body. And following his presidency, he embarked on an expedition of the Amazon River, where he almost died from a leg wound. Now that's pretty tough. What attributes do you think a president needs to effectively lead a country? <laughs>